Okay, we are joined now by UC Santa Barbara coach Bonnie Henriksen and student athletes Alyssa Marin and Alexis Whitfield. We will start by asking coach for an opening statement and then open the floor to questions. We ask media to please raise your hand and identify yourself in your media outlet before asking your question. If you're joining on Zoom, please click on the re reactions button to use the raise hand feature to ask a question. Coach, if you could start us off. Uh, yeah, just certainly uh, disappointed and dug ourselves such a hole in the first half. Um, you know, proud of our effort to get it back. I think we get it to three to start the fourth quarter and you know, we missed some layups, turned the ball over. It was threes for them and we were just really late to rotate and it was, it was transition, base on a bounce play, driving kick threes, just late on ball, re we'd get ball reversal threes just late, not defensively and that. I thought we were more aggressive, more scrappy, tougher, forced action downhill. T I think took three charges in the second half. Just felt like we needed to get into them, get, we needed to in the first half, but got into them and uh, made it made it more uncomfortable, and, and that played in our favor, and we created some offense from our defense, hit ahead, and uh, but just some timely mistakes in the fourth quarter. We dug ourselves a hole in the, in the first half. I'm certainly not going to dismiss this, but when we when we cut it to three, I think then we go three empty possessions, then a missed layup, then a, some t you know turnovers where we just don't have possessions to to give back. We just we need every every possession we get because at that point we need we need more shots and and and. You know, you score. They would score. What do they score? Fifty. So they scored thirty-six in the second half, fifty-four in the first half. It's, you know, that's that's obviously just defensively just too many breakdowns and to give up. And it's wide open threes. Okay. Questions in the room, please. Um, Carson Mercier, KCSB Sports. Uh, Coach, I got a, just one question. Um, earlier in the year, in a loss to LMU, you guys told us um, you can lose a game, you can't lose the lesson. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was the lesson from these last seven games, um, and how would you be, able, or what are you going to carry into next year? Well, we got to defend so much of it. Most nights it's our, some nights it was our defense, and then we're at Riverside, and it's 40 to 33 in the fourth quarter. So then it was our offense. Um, we turn the ball. We don't turn people over. So we, if you look at we're, we're, we're now I, the, the the difference in the game at home against Long Beach was all twos. They shot 56 percent from twos, and now they bust us up for a bunch of threes. Um, but we've got to defend, be, be better secondary. We're number one in the league in three-point field goal percentage, except now that'll we'll get rid of that. Um, you know, so then being able to force tougher twos and be better defensively in rotation and secondary defenders, um, which we need to be because it's coming downhill quite a bit. And then offensively, be consistent. We're just, you know, for the consistency and to get think about where, where you. Where do you, you got to be able to manufacture some offense from, there's no scattering for defense because it's February and everybody knows everybody's plays. We call something, they call something, everybody, right? So, that, but there's no scattering report defense in transition. There's no scattering report defense on the glass. There's no scattering report defense at the free throw line. So what, what you watched more, if the numbers can be dis misleading and be, but there are some indicators, like our paint touches were down. Well, if our paint touches are down, we're not in the paint. Now our free throws. Now the, there's a direct correlation with our free throws because now we don't shoot as many free throws because we were we were we were before that point midway through that that we were making more than our opponents were attempting, and now we got doubled up. And then we don't some we've got we're playing teams that have players that average more steals than we get. So I'm saying so we're not defensively we're not creating we're not creating anything very rarely. But when we do, then we get some runouts and we feel good, and that's those momentum changing plays. So if you're not turning people over, you're not getting to the free throw line. Those are momentum changing, momentum we're growing um, in place. So we've got to defensively got to shore it up and be tougher and 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 clean that aspect up. And I mean, there's a, there's a lot we could be here. I don't want to keep everybody here. We're working overtime, but there's a lot we need to. But it's a fair question. It's good. I mean, we we deserve that. We've been we've not been good. You know, we take a lot of pride in this program. In February, in February, we say it all the time. Every Feb February, every assistant I've ever, most of them have texted me. Hey, I know what you're saying. In February, in February, you get better, you get worse. We got worse, and that's 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 a tough pill for all of us to swallow because we've taken a lot of pride in our program that we do just continue to get better and continue to get better. You know, there's some, you know, we're, there's no excuses. That's where we are. This league's been full of injuries. Everybody's been, everybody's got them. It's basketball. It's part of it. And that's an opportunity for somebody else to step up. So, good question. I appreciate you. Vincent Vanderpool, KCSB Sports. Question for Coach. Um, 51 combined points from Alyssa and Alexis yeah. tonight. Can you talk a little bit about their performance, not just tonight, yeah. but what they've met? to the team all season. Uh, absolutely. They've held it down. These two have been the most consistent ones we've had. And we've struggled when they haven't been, and they would own that. I mean, they, you know, we've all been through it, but it was most impactful of these. Now, my production might be foul trouble. 
might be that. It might be, you know, those, it's not always just making shots. It's defensively and handling your matchup too. But they, they've been able to help hold it down. And, and so certainly proud of both of them and their, their, their toughness and their resiliency and their leadership through all of this. Um, you're never going to question their want to. You're never going to question their effort. You're never going to question how much pride they have for the program. You're never going to question that. And I'm not saying you're questioning the rest of their teammates either. Not, that we're talking about these two, which means that's not passive aggressive. I'm talking about everybody else. We're talking about these two because I am not. But they, they will be the head of that spear. And they have done a great job of that all year. Victor Bryant, Santa Barbara Independent. Yep, I got you. Yeah. Uh, can you kind of speak to your message to your team at halftime and any changes you guys made strategically or tactically, and how much of it was just energy and effort? Well, it, and most of it was just being scrappy and defensively trying to create some offense from our defense, and, you know, we're trying to – it's always try to get them – then again, I'm telling you not to, not to lose, try to make it close enough. We said every chip away, we wouldn't – we wouldn't, weren't going to – a little surprised that we were that close in the fourth quarter. We thought it would probably in the middle of the fourth quarter. Every media timeout, chip away by four, chip away by five, chip away by four. No, there's no hero. There's no one shot's not going to win it. Two plays aren't going to win it. And we've done that. We've done. We've been in this situation before. Um, and so the, that conversation, they all, they all not, they're all probably saying that before I got in there, I'm guessing probably before I walked in. Uh, just hey, we had to be defensively, try to create some offense and, and attack offensively and get downhill and get to the free throw line. There's a drill we call, it's, call, call it's called quick strike. So you play and whatever's on the shot clock, if you, there's 28 seconds on the shot clock or 25 seconds on the shot clock going down and you score, it's 25 points. Does that make sense? So you're trying to attack and be aggressive and make same down. We got a rebound out of that. So we tried to play faster and get up and down because we knew we weren't going to play the whole way, but we'd play, we need to play a minute of that. Play fast, try to play fast, and you, you can't play that the whole way the second half. There's no way it's not possible. Usually it's a three-minute drill. Uh, but we, that mentality that we had to be aggressive in, if, in that drill, if you get fouled and you make the free throw, you get all 30 for the 30-second clock, shot clock. You get 30 points for that drill. So that mentality of being more aggressive and attacking. Coach, uh, Derek Clark, KCSP Sports. Uh, over the last few games, it's been kind of a struggle for you guys to get off to fast starts, yep. Yep. Um, you know, turnovers, yep. and you have to call a timeout and get the team right. reset. And then by that time, it's a 10, you know, 15-point yep. deficit, and you guys have to climb out of the, of the deficit. So how has that been trying to get the team to a fast start and trying not to have to play from behind all the time? I mean, there's not – I mean, offensively, there's – if somebody's going to jump on a – like at, at our place at Long Beach, it's a, it's a, it's a post score, and then it's a run out with a ball reversal in the middle of the floor, and it's a baseline drive. We said don't go – don't drive at baseline because that hasn't been good because they do rotate and help fill and sink. And it was a turnover. It was an 8 nothing. Fat In a minute and 40 seconds, we were down 8. Um, it was similar. We held on a little bit because I think we got to 5 and cut it, you know, that. But it, that has been an issue, and we've talked about that, about being mentally ready to compete. You can't show up and just play. You've got to be ready. You've got to be the most excited to do your job. First, you've got to be the best team, then the team, like as a team. And then, and this is a, it, this is a football, Leach, who play, it, was, this, it was his thing. Leach, who was quarterback, co or the football coach at Washington State and Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Mike Leach, who passed. Be the best team, be the most excited to do your job, and be the best at your job. You have to compete here in this league. You have to, because there's so much balance in the league. You know, so you had to come in and, and you can't come in and play. It's not, it's never going to be who you play, wh who, what who, your opponent, especially this year with so many close games and, you know, a lot of close games. Um, and it's not about wh who you play, who the jersey you're playing. It's not about where is it home or away, but it'll be how hard you compete, especially from the jump because we're all trying to take each other out to start. And oftentimes that's the difference in the, that's the difference in the end, right? That Hi, first start. Uh, ABC Santa Barbara. Uh, to for the student athletes, uh, you guys had kind of a roller coaster year as a team. I'm wondering. We heard from Coach uh, what your perspectives were, why the team, you know, kind of faltered down late. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think um, you know it's a long season and it becomes very long and. You do, you do the same thing, but like she said, like we all have to be ready to do our job and I think, and be happy to do our job. I think that's that was the disconnect that we were having and trying to make sure all the pieces were like, everyone's coming every day, ready to, ready to fight, ready to work, wanting it, you know? And when one piece, even, even something, someone that doesn't probably even like go in, when that piece is not there for us, that affects the team because we need all the energy that we can get. And like, we've had a lot of adversity throughout this season and it's been a tough season. Um, Liz went out 
pretty in the middle of the season too. That obviously disrupted some of our flow and stuff too. But you know, we had to try and fight through that. And I think I think we've we've been trying to fight it, trying to get to a faster start because that's been our hardest thing. Is just our starts of the games have just been so slow and always getting into that hole. And that was pretty much our our big talk leading up to this this game. Like we needed to get a fast start and make them call a timeout because it's always been us and. Obviously, that didn't happen, but I mean, I'm, I'm very proud of the fight that we all did show today because 20 point deficit is it's hard to it's hard to want to keep playing and play through it and try and chop that down to two. I think we got it to one. one? Oh, yeah, and um, I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the want to just keep playing and to not give up until the last last buzzer. So yeah, and yeah, kind of just to piggyback uh, off of wit. Um, I mean, I love this team. I, I've loved playing with Wit. We've been playing since middle school together. And I think, like she was saying, it's it was in the beginning of the season. I mean, we started what, six and one, six and two. And, um, you know, it's it feels good to get that traction. It feels good to win those games. And um, coach always talks about momentum changing, changing plays. And I feel like once we kind of got on that um, losing streak, it's, it's kind of hard to dig ourselves out of that hole, kind of like coach was saying. But um, you know, basketball is a game of lessons, and I think this is a really, really big lesson, uh, especially for me to be coming back next year. Um, and, I'll, you know, again, to quote Coach again, like, you choose your hard, and no one wants to be going through this right now. So it's it's going to be a change. Anything else? Thanks, ladies. We appreciate it.